With any service environment, or indeed with any business environment, there's a need to balance uh, incremental innovation with breakthrough innovation. They both need to happen. I mean, the, the large amounts of benefit can be created with lots of relatively small uh, innovations that can have significant impact on, uh, in this case, uh, the, the patient experience or, or the efficiency of, the, of, of, of healthcare delivery. So lots of that has to go on, and, it, and it's essential. The challenge that, that the Innovation Center faces is that um, it, its charter, to some degree, is to uh, help lead um, the Mayo towards more significant breakthrough innovation. That can be a difficult balance to get, to get right, and there's a lot of demand on the group to, um, to work on the, more, the kind of more obvious uh, short-term kinds of programs. So it's a, it, it, it's a challenge. It's one of the places where I think in some ways one could be if not, uh, one could be critical of uh, the um, uh, the scientific focus, if, as it were, of a, of, of a medical establishment like like Mayo, in that in that the you know doctor physician physician scientists, as the doctors uh, are there, um, tend to think in that very sort of relatively incremental, experimental, scientific, prove everything kind of way, which can mean that uh, there's, there's a reluctance to engage with more human-centered, larger scale, uh, perhaps riskier um, kind of breakthrough uh, innovation opportunities. And so that tension is one that the Innovation Center has to manage um, all the time and will, and will continue to be a tension that has to be managed. And I think partly will be resolved by uh, taking uh, the physicians through the experience of doing more challenging innovation. And that's something that we're in, on the advisory board trying to encourage the center to do more of is, is, is kind of basically show physicians what good can be um, when, when, when you kind of step out a little a bit further and do some things that are slightly riskier. In any innovation transformation, you always have to balance sort of improving the known with inventing the truly new. Very few people realize what the ideal balance is between those two forms of tension. The evidence is increasingly clear that if you're not doing about 80 to 85 percent of your innovations focused on improving the known, you're probably making your enterprise not effective in terms of its ability to compete. But there's this other form of innovation, harder, vastly more rare, and requiring different methods. And it's about sort of constructing the truly new something that's newsworthy, exciting, it's got a high narrative. That's what you do to reinvent your franchise, to reinvent your brand and reinvigorate it, to attract the talent of the industry, to change the way people feel about what's going to happen. These two things are always in tension. And they were right at Mayo to lead with a capability that was robust about improving the known. But both are important. You know, and if you fail to do either one, you tend to fail to extract the value out of the you know, talent that you have already employed and to attract the future talent that will help people to be inspired by the institution going forward. I think the future of the CFI very much depends on its, on its ability to kind of live up to its, uh, to its aspiration of helping the Mayo identify more breakthrough innovation that significantly affects the quality of the healthcare experience and healthcare delivery um, uh, within the institution. And, and, so, and that's how it should be measured over, over the long term. Uh, that means that it needs to be brave and take on projects that do, where, where the, 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 the outcome isn't necessarily clear uh, at the beginning. And, and that's certainly one of the things that I think we advise the center to do, that one of the things that's unique about design is that it... It, it allows you to ex kind of explore out into, a, into an unclear, kind of foggy future, create that future in some form, and then bring it back to the present. That's quite different from the kinds of processes that uh, a healthcare environment is, is, is used to. Uh, that takes time to get, uh, to get familiar with, and it takes time to, um, to become comfortable with. Uh, and I think that's really the, the, the sort of progress that I want to measure within the CFI is how much more comfortable is the institution getting with taking kind of uh, riskier, braver steps uh, in terms of using design to create more kind of interesting futures for, for the mayor.